Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm your teacher Jem Raimon and this time we will check the assessment and the additional activities part of your lesson 2 in your module 2 for this week. Are you ready? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel tutorial by Sir Raimon. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. And this is the assessment part of your lesson 2 of your week 2 module in your Mathematics 6, quarter 4. Okay, it is 5 item test. So let's start number 1. A cylindrical tank has a diameter of 24 decimeter and a height of 30 decimeter. How many liters of water can it hold when full? Okay, 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter. Okay, so ang volume natin ay gamit yung cylinder na formula. So, pi r squared times height. Okay, so substitute natin class. Yung ating pi dito is 3.14. Yung radius natin class is 12. Saan ba yung nakuha yung 12? Yes, yung diameter ang naibinigay is 24. So, kalahati niyan is 12. Yung height natin is 30. Okay, multiply muna natin ito class. 12 times 12 will give you, correct, 144 square decimeter. At i-multiply natin ito lahat. Yes, that will give you 13,564.80 cubic decimeter. Okay, so of course, since liters ang inahanap dito, 1 decimeter or 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter. So meaning, itong asagot natin, pwede na rin itong equivalent na 13,564.80 liters. Okay, ito na yung tamang sagot for number 1. Number 2, how much air is enclosed in a basketball if its radius is 30 centimeters? Of course, sphere na volume ang ating gagamitin. Okay, yung radius natin dyan is 30 centimeters. So, substitute lang class. Ang 4 natin dito, copy lang. Yung pi natin, 3.14. Yung radius natin is 30 centimeters. Copy lang yung denominator na 3. Okay, so 30 times 30 times 30. So, this will become 27,000 cubic centimeters. We multiply natin yung 27,000 sa 3.14 at saka 4. Yes, we'll give you 339,120 cubic centimeters divided by 3. Divide natin ito at ang magiging resulta ay yes, 113,040 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung volume ng ating given basketball. Let's have number 3. A cylindrical can with 5 cm radius and 8 cm height is used to pour water in to a larger cylindrical can with 20 cm radius and 200 cm height. How many times must this be done to fill the larger cylindrical can? So, ilang times na no, ipupour ang water gamit yung maliit na cylindrical can sa larger na cylindrical can? Of course, para malaman natin ang tamang sagot, kukunin muna natin yung mga volume ng bawat can. Okay, let's label the smaller can as can A. So, ito yung volume na formula. So, yung 3.40 natin yan galing dyan sa pi. Yung R natin dyan is 5. Ito yung class. At saka yung height natin is 8 centimeters. Uh, multiply natin ito. 5 times 5 will give you 25. Multiply natin lahat class. Okay, will give you 628 okay, cubic centim. Ito yung volume ng ating smaller na can. Yung larger can naman class. So yung R natin dito is 20. Yung height natin is 200. So 20 times 20 will give you 400 square centimeters. So 200 times 400 times 3.14 will give you yes, 251,000 200 cubic centimeters. Okay? Ngayon, ilang ulit daw lalagyan ng tubig from the smaller can to the larger can. So, ang ibig sabihin, i-divide natin tong volume ng can B, which is, which is the larger can, 
sa can na smaller. So, ito yung mangyayari, class. So, 251,200 divided by 628 will give you 400 times. So, pwedeng gawin yung pag-pour ng water from cylindrical can na maliit patungong cylindrical can na malaki. Ito yung final answer natin for number 3. Number 4. A toy box is in the shape of rectangular prism. It is 35 centimeters long and 15 centimeters high. Its volume is 6,300 cubic centimeters. Find its width. So, volume ang ibinigay with na naman ang ating kukunin or hahanapin. So, we will have volume equal 6,300. Yung length natin is 35 centimeters. Yung width natin ang wala at saka yung height is 15 centimeters. So, i-multiply muna natin ito, class. Yung 35 times 15, yung sagot ay 525 square centimeters. Yung width natin, copy. So, let us divide both sides with 525. Okay, so cancel na yung sa kabilang side. Matitira na lang isang width. Inyan. Yung 6,300, i-divide natin sa 525. Ang magiging sagot ay 12 centimeters. Of course, centimeters na lang yung matitira dyan sa kabilang side. That's why yung width natin is 12 centimeters. Number 5. The volume of a rectangular prism is 2,058 cubic centimeters. The length is 3 times the width. The height is twice the width. Find the width, length, and height of the prism. So, class, walang ibinigay ng mga dimensions ng length, width, at saka height. Ikaw yung magsasolve. No? Tatlong dimensions ang dapat malaman natin or isasolve natin. So, ang ibinigay lang dito is ang volume. So, paano yan? Now, let's identify first the given para hindi tayo mahirapan. Ito yung given natin. Yung volume natin, class, is 2,058 cubic centimeters. Yung length daw is... 3 times the width. So, yan yung class. 3W ang magre-represent yan. Of course, yung width natin will stand as W. And we have your height is twice the width. So, that means, that means 2 width yan. Okay? 2W. After that, solve natin using the formula. Okay? Yung given natin, isa substitute natin sa formula. Yung volume natin is 2,058 cubic centimeters. Yung length natin is 3W. Yung width natin is W. At saka yung height natin is 2W. Right? Now, we will multiply 3W times W times 3W. So, what would be the result? Yes, it would become 6 cubic W. Okay? So, copy yung volume. Yan. And after that, i-divide natin both side by 6. No? Para yung da cubic W na lang yung matitira dyan sa kabila. So, cancel na yung 6 sa kabila. Ang matitira na lang isang cubic W. At saka, 343. Saan nakuha yung 343? So, yung 2, 2,058 plus, i-divide mo sa 6. Ang resulta niyan ay 343. Ngayon, hindi pa yung final answer class kasi cubic W pa lang yan ang ating nakukuha. Hindi pa natin nakukuha talaga yung width. So, what will you do? Para makuha yung width. Yes, find the cube root of each side. Now, what is the cube root of cubic W? Yes, it's W. Now, Ano ba yung number class na pag multiply mo 3 times, ang resulta niya 343? Yan yung cube, cube root ng 343. Yes, the correct answer is 7. So, 7 times 7, 49. At saka 49 times 7 equals 343. So, yung width natin dito class is 7 centimeters. So, pwede na natin kunin yung length class. No? Gamit yung 7 natin dyan. So, take note that the length is 3W. I-substitute natin yung value na nakuha natin na 7. So, ang 3 natin, copy yung W dyan, i-change natin ng 7 centimeters. So, 3 times 7? Yes, the length now is 21 centimeters. Okay? Next, of course, yung height natin is 2W. 
Yung 2W natin, isubstitute natin yung 7 sa W will become 2 times 7. And then 2 times 7 will give you, yes, 14 centimeters. Yan yung height natin. Of course, hindi na no need to solve for the width because we know that the width is 7 centimeters. So, ito na yung final answer natin, class, yung nasa box. Length is 21 centimeters, yung height natin is 14 centimeters, at saka yung width natin is 7 centimeters. Now, this time, let's have the additional activities. Now, you are going to solve this problem. Okay? So, let's start with this. Now, below is the sample of a hemisphere. We talk about hemisphere class. This is half of a sphere. Huh? Now, the volume of the hemisphere, of course, one half the volume ng sphere. Now, this is how we solve or how we get the formula of the hemisphere. Para hindi ka malito class, gagamitin natin ito mamaya kasi halos lahat ng problems for your additional activities are all hemisphere. So, para hindi na tayo mag-divide pa tayo ng one half or mag-divide pa tayo ng two sa at ating answers, uh, mag-create na lang tayo ng formula for hemisphere. Ito yung class. So, one half of the volume of the sphere. At we all know that one half, of course, i-multiply natin sa four third pi r cube because that is the formula in finding the volume of the sphere. And after that, so, 4 times 1, of course, 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times 2 here is 6. Okay? So, copy yung pi r cube. Yan. After that, reduce. I-reduce natin to class. So, ano yung common, din, common factor ng 4 at saka 6? Yes, 2. So, i-divide natin sa 2 yung 4, i-divide natin sa 2 yung 6. So, that's why magiging 2 third na yan. And then, copy also. Okay? After that, pwede itong uh, maging formula natin for the hemisphere. Ito na yung gagamitin natin, class. Pwede rin mas madali kung ito, no? Ilagay natin sa numerator lahat. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin, class, later on sa pag-solve for the hemisphere. Volume equals 2 pi r cubed divided by 3. Now, find the volume of each hemisphere. So, ito na yung class, yung volume ng hemisphere natin, di ba? 2 third pi r cube or pwede rin ganyan. I-substitute natin yung radius. So, yung radius natin is 3. Yan. So, 3 times 3 times 3. Yes, that's 27. So, 2 times 3.14 times 27 will give you 169.56 cubic inches divided by 3. And after that, the answer is 56.52 cubic inches. Ito na yung final answer natin. Ito na yung volume ng half ng sphere or pinatawag nating hemisphere. Another hemisphere class. Ito. So, steel. So, ito na yung radius natin. 6. 6 times 6 times 6. Yung resulta naman ay magiging 216 cubic centimeters. 2 times 3.14 times 216, yung sagot natin ay 1,356.48 cubic centimeters. I-divide natin sa 3. Okay, yung tamang sagot ay 452.16 cubic centimeters. Ito yung final answer natin for number 2. Another hemisphere, pero diameter yung ibinigay class. So, radius ang kakailanganin natin. So, meaning 6 pa din. So, same pa din kanina, di ba? Kaya lang yung unit natin, decimeter na. So, 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. So, i-multiply natin itong tatlong ito. At ang resulta niya ay 1,356.48 cubic decimeter. I-divide natin yan sa 3. At ang resulta ay 452.16 cubic Decimeter. Ito na yung final answer natin class for number 3. 4 at 5, ito yung class. So, let's start with 4. A hemisphere with a radius of 3 inches fits inside a rectangular prism with length of 6 inches, width of 6 inches, and a height of 3 inches. Find the volume that is inside the prism but outside the hemisphere. So, binigyan ka ng hint class kung paano siya isolve. So, kunin mo daw yung volume ng prism I-sasubtract mo 
sa volume ng hemisphere. So, kunin mo na natin yung volume ng prism class. Yan. Yung prism natin, ito yung malaking box class, di ba? So, 6 by 6 by 3. So, ito na yung dimensions niya. Yung length niya is 6. Yung width niya is 6. Yung height niya is 3. 6 times 6 times 3 is? 108 cubic inches. Ito yung volume ng prism. Volume naman ng hemisphere. Kunin natin. Ito yung hemisphere natin na formula. 3 yung radius natin, ito class. That's why may 3 tayo dyan. Copy yung 2. Pi natin is 3.14. 3 times 3 times 3 is? 27. Very good. So, 2, 3.14 times 27. Yes, the answer is 169.56 cubic inches. Divided by 3. Yes, the volume is 56.52. Isasubtract natin to sa volume ng prism natin kina. So, volume ng prism is 108 cubic inches. Iless natin sa 56.52 sa volume ng hemisphere. Okay. So, 108 minus 56.52 will give you 51.48 cubic inches. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 4. Number 5. A sphere with a radius of 3 cm fits inside a cylinder with a height of 6 cm as shown. Find the volume that is inside the cylinder but outside the sphere. Binigyan ka na din naman ng hint class kung paano isolve. Volume ng cylinder, iless mo daw sa volume ng sphere. So obviously, we will find the volume of cylinder and we will find the volume of the sphere. So volume of the cylinder. So radius niya class is 3 at saka yung height niya is 6. So substitute. Okay? So 3 times 3 is 9. 6 times 9 times 3.14 Correct. It's 169.56 cubic centimeters. Yan yung volume ng cylinder. Volume naman ng sphere, yung radius niya is 3. Ito class, 3 cm. Radius to ng uh, sphere din. Okay? So, 3 times 3 is 27. Or 3 times 3 times 3, 27. So, 27 times 3.14 times 4 will give you 339.12 cubic centimeters. Divided by 3. So, yung answer natin for the volume of the sphere is 113.04 cubic centimeters. Pagkatapos, isasubtract natin ang, ang volume ng cylinder sa volume ng sphere. So, the answer is 56.52 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung final answer natin for item number 5 sa inyong additional activities. That's all for this week class. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Keep safe everyone!